Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make play and stop buttons in Flash. I'm using Flash CS6 using ActionScript 3. So what we're going to do is have stop buttons and play buttons and give them functionality. I've shown you in a previous video how to make animations, so I'm not going to show you how to make this bouncing ball animation, you'll have to watch the video for that. And I've shown you how to do buttons as well, so I, I'm not going to show you how to make the buttons, you need to watch the video. I'm going to show you how to script for the buttons, make them do things. I'm using ActionScript 3 as I mentioned. Uh, what I'm talking about there is you can have ActionScript 2 or 3, I'm using 3, the newer version. These are the layers of my animation, I've got the buttons in their own layer. If I click on the buttons, you can see what I've named them. I've called this one Stop Button. I can, uh, that's the incidence of that particular button. You need to name them and know the names of them. That's why I'm telling you. Uh, you can't call them whatever you want. If I call that Stop, it, because Stop is a function, it wouldn't let me uh, call it that, but I can call it mostly whatever I want. The Play is um, called Play Button. The Action Script, I've made its own put it in its own layer. To create action script or to see the actions, just right click and click on actions, which is on the bottom of the list. Unfortunately, you can't see it because my screen is cut off. I can't, you can't see my entire screen. Uh, and here is the script that is making that um, those buttons work. The sections with the double slash, they, these are just notes. See how they're greyed out? These are just notes um, for me. The, the application doesn't really care about these. It's, not, it's just ignoring them. It's just that I know what these parts of the the code do. Stop function. Functions are a little bit of code that you can call. So they on their own they'll just sit there and do nothing but you can um, ask the software to run that little bit of code here and there. So I've got a function to stop the animation. So type in function. Click stop is the name of this function. I've just called it that. You can call it whatever you want. Um, it's an event and it's a mouse event when this happens. And when, the, when it happens, it's going to stop, stop the animation. The, the code is a little bit in, in between these curly brackets. You can put whatever you want in that. Um, all, all sorts of code can be in there. In this case, all I'm doing is stopping the animation. So again, this is not going to do anything. It's going to just sit there and wait to be called. To call the stop button is this little code here. So stop button, that was the name of that button on the screen, the little square adding an event listener, so it's basically what that's saying is it's going to start listening to things if that, things happen to that button. And on a mouse event, when the mouse is up, so what that means is I've clicked on it and then I've released the mouse with my pointer over that button, it's going to run this function, which is this one here. So basically, when you click and release the button, it'll run this little bit of code, which will stop the animation. The play function works pretty much the same way. So this is again a function, a little bit of code that I can call. This is the name of the function, so I could have called it whatever I want, um, but I called it click play. And it's an event, a mouse event, um, and it will play the animation. The code in between those little curly brackets is the code that's going to um, run. And here's a little bit of code that actually plays that uh, function. So play button, that was the name of the little triangle play button. I've added a listener to it, so it's going to listen to things that are happening to it. Mouse event, mouse up, so click, and then when I li lift my finger off the mouse button, it's going to run click play, which is this one here. Um, and that's how you add functionality to your button. So if I just close that again and play it, you can see it working. So click on that, stops, click on that, plays. And there you go. That's how you add functionality to your buttons.